So I'm Carolyn James, I'm an Orange local and I'm also leader of the Orange Bicycle User Group. This group is affiliated with Bicycle New South Wales and we've been running social rides in Orange for visitors and locals alike for over 20 years. Orange has a terrific food and wine tourism reputation. It's been building that for many years. We want to integrate cycling and walking to take you through those experiences that are already on offer. And that includes over 40 cellar doors, some amazing cherry, apple orchards and fine provador food experiences. And by connecting those up through a walking and cycling trail, we really feel we can draw people to this region which is only four hours away from both Sydney and Canberra. We applied for a grant with the New South Wales Government that has allowed us to explore a business case about what this can do for the economy, for tourism and for the local community. Hi, my name's Chris Rose. I'm a senior consultant with TRC Tourism. We're a global tourism destination planning firm that specialises, amongst other things, in creating outstanding experiences in unique destinations. The concept of the trail revolves around a spine so that people can self-curate their own experiences or around three hubs that we've called the Town Hub, the Lake Hub and the Harvest Hub. And the concept behind that is that it allows people time to explore the unique little providors and cellar doors and businesses that exist and do so over three or four days, each day having a unique and new experience. Our modelling shows, based on available data, that we will attract over 40,000 local and regional people to use the trails per year in 10 years' time, and over 45,000 people doing day or overnight trips to Orange to experience the trail and everything it has to offer and at the same time, of course, spending money in Orange, in Kabon, and in all of the wonderful restaurants and, and uh, businesses that currently exist. The net economic benefit is significant. Our modelling shows that over $56 million in economic benefit will accrue to the region over a 10 year period. The cost to achieve that is $22 million. So there is a 1.8 times benefit for the cost to the region for the investment that it has to be made. We will generate over 55 ongoing jobs every year during the ongoing operations of the trail and over 50 jobs during the construction phase. So my name is Nick Gagan, I'm the uh, co-owner of Small Acre Cider. I think it'll be such an asset. I mean, I think just people riding from, you know, cidery to winery to uh, you know, everything else um, in itself is going to be great. But then when you start to think about it as a sort of a platform for having events, you know, we have the forage event, which is walking between places in a small area. This broadens our potential out. For us as a business, you know, it means we're selling more, uh, it means we've got more staff to service all those people. Local communities, so we use local foods, we sell a lot of local produce, and so it's benefiting everybody else. We're connected through to the mountain bike club. Yes. So people who might have um, a mixed group of interests, whether you've got a, a family where some people are wanting to do a walk, some people are wanting to do a ride to a winery, and another want to enjoy themselves on the mountain bike park. All of these things come together in this venue. It offers us an opportunity as well to talk and celebrate all the great things about Orange through this cycling and walking experience. Having great signage and displays along the pathways, whether we're walking or cycling, which we can talk about the environmental um, biodiversity in the region, we can talk about the indigenous culture of the region. So this is, can be both a recreational and a learning experience. So many people from the local community come out here and enjoy these lakes facilities which have recently been renovated and the whole point that this is going to be something that all the locals can use and enjoy as well Absolutely. is really um, the double benefit of having these cycle trails and walking trails. Yeah, well, I think it's an exciting proposition. It obviously creates a really unique experience for Orange within New South Wales. If 
this comes off in the next couple of years, this will be amazing for tourism in the region. We already know we've got a real depth of tourism offering, but if you can pull it together in a great experience where people can traverse the countryside and really um, connect with the landscape, which we all know around here is just so beautiful and lovely at all different times of the year. So I just think, you know, what a wonderful opportunity and the next challenge will be to get, obviously get the support and the, um, to fund the project and then get councils on board and then press go.